again, they drop these heroes, they play the early game in such a way that you can't pressure them. Well, it or certainly teams helps when, them. when the other team has a, a Spectre and a Zeus. These are not the, the lane dominators. Yeah. So for sure. EG, it, everything comes together when they hit that bat right at Blink Dagger. Oh, they want Bulldog. They are going to connect with the Gale. This might be a big kill for Arteezy. Yeah, Bulldog trapped out. Even the ward's going to be third. Two male says, that's mine. Pops the ult, gets the experience, and first blood is claimed. I love that. Whew. Brutal. Thus far. S4 now with the eggs. He gives all the vision they need. So good luck jumping anybody if you are EG. We've yet to see a big lasso. In fact, I think we've yet to see any lassos. The one attempt came on mid. So Alliance, they push into the base. They work on the tower. The bear beating away at it. Very quickly, pretty down there. They are going to get the lasso off on the Loda. But that's not the easiest kill. He just blade series away. Lasso committed. No follow up whatsoever. Spectre does haunt into the fray, but what do they really get out of this? Bat Rider now jumping forward, he's gonna get punished for this! Universe is too far! He's overextended, he may go down, the Glimmer Cape is gonna keep him alive. Now Arteezy walks in, but the tower's down, they're fighting against the Bear Bird. This is going to hurt, it might leave a rash, Arteezy lucky to get rooted there. Then the Omni Loda executes his counterpart and chases onwards, Bulldog grabbing both kills, and Alliance still in full fighting. The form here. They've even bought back on the Spectre and the Zeno, but that's such a huge gold investment. The healing ward of Juggernaut just wrecks when they go for these pushes. They put the bear on the high ground, the healing ward's just sitting there, can't be touched, healing up the bear, and EG's forced to go for a risky play. Back. If he goes down here, it's easy. He can't afford for this to happen. They gotta get him out of there. Where's the root? Bulldog is basking for it, and he gets it. The universe could be next the here on the high ground with the Death Ward. Is this enough to turn the fight? They are pretty low down. They are going to counterplay it. They get two. It's a die back on the Spectre, though. It's such a huge expense. Yeah, again, though, it's the Fear Witch Doctor keeping EG in this game. But they're overextending. LD, the cast is going to catch up, too. But they've already lost another core hero in the Batrider. They don't have and any EG. of their carries. It's going to be up to S4 to yep. backstab them if they want to turn this. Oh, PPD, very low. The creeps might be enough to bring him down here. Ake okay, gets him with auto attacks. He now rushes forward to Mail. May also drop. Can he nuke down at four time? Another void comes out. That's a triple for Ake. A net as oh, well. No escape. And to Mail, too, will fall. Die back on the Spectre. Team wipe on the rest. The crowd is loving it. The relic. He's not going to have buyback. Very close. The bear gets to work now. Quickly burning down the range rack. The lasso is there. It's on S4. No swap just yet. The Death Ward comes through. Very well played, but they actually drag him out of Death Ward raid. So S4 is able to tank through it. Loda survives as well. They root up here. And even with the Glimmer Cape, he may end up going down. The Pair of Summon does come out. Alliance with the pipe now active. Do they want to back off? The Bear is dropping quickly. Help Alfredo! Save him! No, they've lost him again. Universe will end up going down though. There's the trade. No lasso. This is the push EG have to defend. If they can do this, you now I get the range. You, you go back to Roche. Yeah. And then you go again. For EG, they, they're okay with a little bit of breathing room. Well, I, just I, hoping they can get everything together. I think together. if he does want it, guys, for this push, he's going to have to sell items. But I'm not sure he even has enough if he does. Still only a thousand. He'd have to sell everything basically to get the eggs. I think Spectre trying to get a tier two tower up top just to try and get that little bit of extra gold boost. And there's the Radiant. Okay, he's got Radiant. No buyback. Back, though. This is just barely by the skin of his teeth. They are gonna mail the bear. The lasso comes out, it's the spot to cancel it. Beautifully done. The bear now backing it's off the, the dead board. Oh, the it's missing! Well. And it's not really enough damage. They, they hide back for now, but the Chen's army does drop quickly. They've already committed the heal for this. S4 also taking some heavy damage. Arteezy charges in. He wants to get aggressive. The cast is there, but they uh, turn on him! With the Omni, dead for a minute, no buyback ready, and Alliance now spin forward, engaging aggressively. The Aegis gets popped, the bear moving on to fear, keeping him out of the fight. There's no death ward, there's no Zeus hold, there's no lasso, there's no answers for EG. Buybacks are their only hope, but these are heroes without their big combo. Zeus hold has come off cooldown for now, but Ake stands his ground. He's man fighting against the EG army. It seems the Sumail bolts might be enough to drive them back. Oh, Ake almost more. dead, and they do get him. Zap number one, bolt number two. Oh. EG with the Zeus buyback, able to turn the fight. It took him a Witch Doctor buyback as well, but this is what EG have to do. They've just got to their swap into a quick stun with a the void there as well. A pick on Universe can be very big, but the mail comes out. That bolt did about a third of S4's HP off the bat. And Universe, silenced. speaking of the bat, blinks in looking for a lasso, but he was silenced. A void again from S4 with the 10 second BKB about to go and cool down. They're going to need a route to engage into this. PPD, glimmering and retreating. 
We'll make it out. Nice disengage coming out from the side of EG. And he losses at this stage of the game and just brutal. And that's a 10 second BKB. So, I mean, EG are playing the long game. For them, any win condition is in the 50 minute plus stage of this game. So when those BKBs get down to five seconds or less, when they manage to somehow farm up, like the Manta and more on Spectre. Get more items on heroes like Zeus. But for Alliance, they want to end things in the next 10 to 15 minutes, either now or with the next agent. Yeah, going bottom, an interesting choice when that melee Rex is exposed top, but that's because Arteezy is pushing out the lane. Yeah. Very much he just like a positioning to farm. Thing. They almost found a kill mid lane, and then there was no lane to push elsewhere, so... I mean, that Spectre clock is slowly ticking, guys. He's getting a lot of space, a lot of time, especially after the rough start he had. It's yeah, still loaded, like, here. he's so fun, and he can just do this. He lays through some of the high ground, starts hitting the buildings, and bit by bit, Alliance will get closer and closer. Oh, the room, the the room might base. be the death of PPD. The man comes through. Wow, Loda just smashed him down. And then carves up the bat. Tattle Lasso has no buyback. No buyback either on the oh, man. So this is going to be an incredibly tough hole. They've already lost one random frag. Maybe Alliance even go for a second off the bat. Uh, it seems like they're rotating for it. Oh, all of the chain creeps get low, get immediately healed back up as well. EG, it's do or die for them. They'll have a Spectre buyback for this last fight. Oh, they're going for Megas here, but the, this could X. be the tide turner. This could be. It's going to be tough to get it off. They have a swap, and there's no lasso. Not easy. Head in the middle of the fight. I believe he does have buyback. He's going to have to use it as he gets snooped down by the Chen. It's the buyback on him. The Death Ward's going, but it's no. not critical damage. Alliance is back away, and they rotate on the top. The Megas are coming out, and GG! What Alliance a is that? The Swedes have done it. They take down EG in dominant fashion. Neither game could EG even get a no. What a performance from Alliance. The road they took to get here, taking down Secret, Liquid, and EG. Three teams at the Major and doing so in convincing fashion. That makes them a scary contender going to Shanghai. At this point, they have got to be the team that everybody is looking at going into that major as well. And what a surprise.